Important to uh, talk about certainly on this in terms of whether ta uh, Apple is a kind of a tax evader or avoider. And um, from Barron's, uh, senior editor Jack Howe is with us in the studio. We'll also get into the stock price in a moment. But to follow up on Peter's report, any thoughts on the um, tax money parked overseas? An issue that's been out there for years, brought up in the 60 Minutes interview. Well, is Apple trying to dodge taxes? Of course it is. Like everyone, it's trying to right. keep its tax bill as low as possible while following the law. Its argument is that the law is ridiculous. And, you know, it, it, it's not really any big secret out there that in America, we have a corporate tax code that, that accomplishes neither of the things it should accomplish. It doesn't raise a heck of a lot of revenue because companies, companies are so good and they have so many ways of uh, parking money. Yeah, they're not places. paying the true right. But, but it also has a statutory rate that's, are, uh, uh, that's frighteningly high compared with other developed nations. I mean, you know, the, the thought of paying 40% on that money to bring it home, I mean, He's got a responsibility to shareholders to try everything he can do to avoid that. As right? you say, rightfully, um, not the only company, maybe the biggest one, but not the only company involved in something like this. The other thing people seem to be talking about today were the comments on China, where you know they were talking about jobs and uh, company or products being made over there. He said. It's not necessarily because we're doing things cheaper. It's the skill sets, the education system in China, and that's yeah. Not a lot of people are buying that one. I don't think. I bet he doesn't mind that it's also cheaper. I right. Mean, I mean, come I've, on. I've got to believe that when it first came time to build these things, like you know, yeah, the skill of putting these together. You know, they they have engineers in Germany. I mean, you you can find labor, you know, skilled labor in other places. Sure. Like, but at this point, they have so much manufacturing over there. You've actually had some wage inflation in China, and they've been a, you know, a big driver of that, other, other, other companies as well. At this point, though, it's, it's probably easier just to stay put, certainly, than to move somewhere else. All right, let's talk about the stock price, because yeah. that's another that's uh, really in your, your wheelhouse. As um, Jerry said, it comes out of bear market territory today, barely, 107.33. Yeah. Uh, thoughts on Apple's stock price? You should buy it. Right. Well, let me go. Let you, me should buy, you should buy it tomorrow. Uh, you know, look, Apple is the stock price is pessimistic. If you subtract the cash from the stock market value of the company, you've got a price to earnings ratio in single digits. That's versus about 17 for the broad market. That's a bet that Apple is done growing, that it can't grow anymore. Right. I think that's totally wrong. It's done growing by 40% a year. This is going to become a company that turns into almost sort of a hardware annuity business where you keep getting people upgrading, they gradually you know, gain slivers of market share, they come out with new products. And I think this company continues to grow its earnings by maybe 8% a year. Well, maybe 8%, even that type of growth is enough to drive the stock. Absolutely, and right. return a ton of cash to shareholders. I actually think this is a stock over the next year, they need to play some valuation catch up. Once right. you see a little bit of growth, I think the stock returns maybe 30% uh, next year, 2016. Oh, interesting. All right, Jack. Thanks, Jack Howe there. Jerry